because it can comprise, for example, a talk about a specific book, a reading and a Q&A. I can arrange to take specific questions from members of the class and name the pupils who have asked each question before giving you my answer. Alternatively, I can set writing challenges and discuss aspects of writing itself. Pupils can order signed copies of my books to be sent directly to your school. I can even tailor a film to a school's specific needs. Just let me know what you want. But whatever we do, the emphasis will be on promoting reading and writing and having a bit of fun into the bargain. If you'd like to read more about my published work, go to my website at philip caveneycouk UK. Chapter One, The Boat. Noah stood on the wooden jetty in the chill light of early morning. He stared apprehensively across the vast stretch of flat grey water to the distant smudge on the horizon that Mr Morrison had just pointed out as their eventual destination. Noah pulled the canvas life jacket tighter around him and tried not to tremble. He didn't want the old man to know how scared he was but realised that it was probably all too obvious. It clung to him like a bad smell, like an ill-fitting suit of clothes that he could never remove, no matter how hard he tried. Mr Morrison sat in the wooden dinghy, smiling encouragingly up at Noah. The boat was already piled high with all the equipment that Millicent had insisted on bringing with them, and she was still in the house, selecting the last few items that she couldn't bear to be parted from, even for a couple of weeks. Noah couldn't believe she was planning on bringing out yet more things. Didn't she realise how dangerous it was to overload a boat? Didn't she know how deep the Firth of Forth actually was?